Hello, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. Hey, everyone. Matt DiNapoli here. Welcome to episode 146 of Snack Myth. Uh, this week, we're going to be talking about that hot topic on everyone's mind, AI, <laughs> uh, with Nilesh. Um, Nilesh, uh, could you introduce yourself and then we'll get into it? Hey, thank you. So, I'm Nilesh Pateria. I'm principal engineer architect on Devnet engineering team. So a lot of the audience here probably use some of the product that our team has built. So I've been involved in building code exchange, learning lab, Devi and we, and many other products, including API docs. And recently we have been exploring AI. How do we enable AI on Devnet? So that's probably what we would be talking about. Yeah, so, so Nilesh, I'm excited to have you on here because I know for a lot of people, they hear all this uh, AI this and Gen AI that and AI built in and all this stuff. And really, um, I think the challenge for a lot of people out there is how do we practically apply um, the capabilities of generative AI into um, our everyday life and, and the things that we do? And, and what we're finding is that there's some surprising ideas out there. And, and within the DevNet platform on developer.cisco.com, you guys have come up with some kind of cool things to help with um, search and and uh, engagement with um, our documentation. And so uh, would you mind jumping into uh, what you guys have done over there? So today, most of the searches are keyword-based search. So user need to know what exact keyword you're looking for. And most of the time, if I'm a new user, I don't know what exactly I'm looking for. I have some idea. So there is a new way of searching, which is supported by LLM called semantic search which kind of search is content based on your intent, not directly keyword. So it matches, LLM matches the intent of your user queries with the content data. So we can look at like how it does. Uh, architecturally, there is a couple of concepts that get involved here. So in this case, uh, this high level architecture, there are deeper detail which we don't go through. So what we are doing is we are kind of we already create a catalog for every item on DevNet or developersisco.com, like Learning Lab, Docs, Code Exchange, Repository, and everything. We are adding another layer to it, which is called embedding. So embedding is like new numeric representation of those content. So what LLM can do is like you can take any text and create it a vector number, which is based on the knowledge that it has, rather than treating everything as a text. It is now treated as a set of like say thousand number or 2000 number for each snapshot, each, each small part. And now we created a new vector database. Uh, this is the new term that everybody would have heard this thing. So this vector database is like a numerical represent, representation of all of your content. Now when user searches the query, uh, we again convert that query to a embedding vector, which is another set of number. Now, what we are doing is we are trying to match those numbers rather than words. So it's like the number matching or vector search matching. There are various logics like cosine similarity or like Euclidean distance. So those things we would use. To, the, the one that helps us is rather than trying to find exit keyword, you can now find the content based on your intent. That helps us solve uh, a problem and that can be extended further to support chatbot rag use cases and other stuff but that's the very core idea uh, for semantic search so um i i have a curious question around this so as the vector database is being generated um and then as searches are being run are we finding that we can then improve the the build out of the actual vector database itself by the search results um, that are clicked into after a semantic search is done does so i guess my question is does it continue learning <laughs> yeah so i think this is this is another another aspect of llm which is called re-ranking so vector database itself is a fixed number for a fixed string or fixed sentence there would be always a fixed vector but once you get the, it's like you can think of these are the nearest neighbor, right? What we do is not search, but search the nearest neighbor. So it's a KNN kind of equivalent thing you do. So these are our nearest neighbor. After that, there is another step which is called re-ranking. So once you find like 50 nearest neighbor, now you want to rank them. 
And those re-ranking logic can learn based on like what users have preferred or what they are doing and those kind of things. So it's an, another step after you have find that nearest neighbor, which is re-ranking. So yeah, there is a lot of stuff that is going on there. Again, LLM can help us. There are like LLM models which are just focused on re-ranking. Uh, they are yep. good at re-ranking. So, so yeah. Snackers, you're actually seeing uh, generative AI in practice here in DevNet um, under under the hood. Nilesh, um, do you want to show us the experience? Like, so from a user perspective, what is it? What what does that look like? So this is Meraki API doc. Uh, now, if we search Meraki API doc, uh, there we are seeing few things, right? One is like if you if you make a longer search query earlier with keyword, I have searched show me the snapshot API, right? So of course, like okay. a snapshot is the keyword it matched. That's fine. But if we look at it also figured it out a snapshot are related to camera and analytics, which is related to camera. So the future uh, searches, like except the first one, it is like related search, it has figured it out. So now you don't have to know exact keyword, but if I make the same search query in the previous version keyword is search, it will only try and find the snapshot ABI probably first and rest of them would be uh, not intent based. Again, the thing is like the good thing is like you don't have to be very specific. I can make some of these query really large because sometimes you have a vague idea. Okay, I want to build a custom splash page and offering more than flexible login Wi Fi. Like you hear, hear this some as a blog post, right? I up from blog post title. Uh, and then it can find what's your intent is. It will find like, oh, your intention is to find the splash page, how to do the setting. And how to configure it. So it will find what is your intent within this sentence and match that intent with the relevant content rather than keyword. Uh, in this case, there are a couple of keyword which is matching, but it may or may not be required. Um, so that's the that's the one key item. In addition to this, what we can we are also working on this is another integration instance. Once you might have seen nowadays in the Google or even Cisco.com, some other places when you do the search, you yeah. not only get the search, but you also get the summary of search. Yeah, this is pretty awesome, Nilesh. I, you, you read my mind. I was going to say, could you give me the steps on how to, how to do a Meraki camera snapshot in code and then let me see the DevNet documentation, uh, perhaps maybe some projects on code exchange, but yeah. Be yes, he already beat you to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then maybe maybe that's maybe that's. Nilesh the is the power. semantic search of humans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think that that's that's really cool feature. You can just extract because today user have to go to first link, second link, third link, like and then figure it out what's right. inside it. it right. So we we take this first three the first three four link content and give it to LLM and say, can you summarize it for us, like so that user understand this concept well. And that's what the summary we are saying. Like if you go back here, we, we find those top entries and we went to LLM model and say, okay, give us like the top summary of this, which user can understand because that's what user do. Uh, and we also have a chatbot, Devi chatbot, which takes it further. Like we can keep interacting it. Uh, but this is like the key search term. Right, so you can search within doc. You can search based on intent. You can summarize these searches and get the summary to look at, and then deep dive into it further. You know, this is this is really exciting. I think the concept of semantic search and then tying it to the large language models, um, because one of the hardest things I think for um, either people getting started or people who are going through learning paths is that um, understanding the vernacular is yeah. a really big challenge. And so yeah. you have concepts that you have to worry about, but sometimes the concepts are lost because we don't know the words. Yeah. And so um, being able to, uh, to show intent, bring back content that gives us the opportunity to understand the vernacular in, in line with the concept is incredibly exciting. So it's not just oh, I can get to this thing faster or do this thing faster, but I'm actually learning faster as well um, by leveraging what is now being fed back to me from my, my AI question or AI focus question. So 
um, very exciting uh, stuff coming out of this. Yeah, and Les, I love the opportunity to to take what you've done here and maybe extend it out to Cisco U where we could bring in some of the learning aspects into that search. So not only that you're seeing the API documentations and the learning labs, but perhaps related learning. And so you can continue that journey um, for the next step. And you might be, you might be beyond that moment of need. You know, you want to collaborate. That sounds fantastic. I know. (laughs) I'm super excited. You don't do that enough. Yeah, we, we have like some of those POC or even like a small instances released where in, at the end of learning lab, we show you what are the related content, uh, where you can continue your journey. Uh, there we are using again the LLM to find the related content instead of like searching user queries, we are doing, okay, these are related learning labs. We can add like Cisco U content and other content out there to see, okay, this is relevant one. I think I think there's endless possibilities here, but the it's it's pretty awesome what you guys have done. Uh, I would actually I don't know about you, Matt, but I would like I would be interested in in reading on how that was implemented, and you know maybe looking at code snippets from like under the hood how all of that was done as a learning. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if you have the the cycles or in your team he has a there, there's a way to release the the engineering side of things and how it's all done so we can we can learn more. Uh, but I know I'd be interested and I'm sure some of our snackers will be. Yeah, we are definitely going to write a blog about it or probably a series of blogs. So to do it. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, Nilesh, I'm sorry, but we're um, this is crazy interesting, but we're, we're, we're running out of time very quickly. Um, before we like, well, we, we should definitely bring you back. That that's that's another one. Uh, but before we let you go, since this is your first time with Snack Minute, we do ask all of our first time uh, guests, uh, what superpower would you wish to have and why? Yeah, so I think for me, like, I want to see where AI is going. So can I see the future? Oh. <laughs> I don't want to see the, I don't want to see my personal future, but I want to see anonymous future, right? So I can just see where technology is going. I don't want to see my life in the future, but that should be an ex- experience I want to go. But definitely, I want to see where AI would be five years down the line. Okay. So that would be great if you can help okay. me get that. <laughs> can you bring us the lottery numbers while you're at it? Can you apply that? To <laughs> no, he said no personal. It can't be personal. That's not. That's not for him. That's for my personal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can negotiate. <laughs> Nilesh, thank you so much. This has been an awesome episode. Snackers, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, I definitely bring uh, Nilesh back to talk a little bit more about the technology under the hood. And uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. Yeah, thank you.